Around the world, new cities are being built from scratch at an unprecedented rate. This is in part simply because population growth and migration are feeding urbanization. But it's also partly because the problems facing older cities, pollution, climate change, housing shortages, inequality, congestion, now appear particularly acute. The US billionaire Mark Lohr has responded with a plan for a sustainable and equitable metropolis for 5 million people in the deserts of the US Southwest. In this video, we're going to discuss why the US's future is surprisingly uncertain to Loza, USA. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Within 40 years, the duo intends to establish a fully contained city which will extend it over 150,000 acres. Described as a new city in America, the new plans were announced on Telosa's official website and Big's website. The Telosa master plan is aimed to set a global standard for urban living, expand human potential, and become a blueprint for future generations. America's fundamental problem, he believes, is its wealth gap, and inspired by the work of the 19th century economist Henry George, he has concluded that this is rooted in land ownership. Society at large creates property value, but the gains accrue, unfairly in Lohr's view, only to the property owners. Telosa would solve this, anyone would be able to build homes and sell them, but the city itself would retain ownership of the underlying land. Initially, the land will be donated to a community endowment, which will use the money made through increasing land values to enhance public services and ensure every single citizen has equal access to health care, housing, education, and transportation. In due course, those living in Telosa will get a stake in the site, so as the city does better, the residents do better. The entrepreneur believes Telosa could eventually be worth as much as $1 trillion and generate $60 billion a year for its inhabitants. Although there are a few renderings released on the official website, the first rendering gives a clue of what type of a city will welcome its residents, such as prioritized streets for bikes and pedestrians, slow-moving autonomous cars, nature and infilled infrastructure. Our vision is to create a new city in America that sets a global standard for urban living, expands human potential, and becomes a blueprint for the future generations. A statement from Telosa reads, Mark Lohr is the driving force behind the city, the former CEO of e-commerce at Walmart, the entrepreneur sold his website Jet.com to the retailer in 2016 for $3.3 billion. In a promotional video, he said, Cities that have been built to date from scratch are more like real estate projects. They don't start with people at the center, because if you started with people at the center, you immediately think, what's the mission and what are the values? The mission of Telosa is to create a more equitable and sustainable future. That's our North Star. The official website for Telosa cites that 1 billion people will be affected by climate change in 2050. That figure falls in line with the United Nations Climate Change Report in August dubbed the Code Red for Humanity, noting that Earth could reach 1.5 degrees Celsius by 2040. It's unclear what American desert is being targeted for the project. Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Arizona, Texas, and the Appalachian region are all options per the city's official website. We have a chance to prove a new model for society that offers people a higher quality of life and greater opportunity. Lohr said in a statement, When I look out 30 years from now, I imagine equitism serving as a blueprint for other cities and even the world and Telosa being a place of pride for all who live there. The city even promises a new economic model called equitism in which constituents have a stake in the city's land and as the city does better, the residents do better. One of the biggest issues is the supply of water. Last year, a study in the Nature Climate Change Journal confirmed that the southwest USA is at its driest in at least 1,200 years thanks to a 22-year mega drought. Lohr admits that a viable supply of water would require innovation, money, and political resolve, and he could opt for a site in the less drought-ridden Appalachia region instead. More generally, creating new cities from scratch is less sustainable than building on existing urban centers, particularly if it's a city in the middle of the desert, with food and other supplies likely transported in from afar. The idea of supporting a million people on worthless land is a tough hill to climb, says Ellen Dunham-Jones, an urban design professor at Georgia Tech. The easiest parts of the proposal are already underway. The first phase of Lohr's project is expected to be completed by 2030 and would at first accommodate 50,000 residents. Lohr is not the first to try the utopian society, according to Sarah Moser, Associate Professor of Geography at Montreal's McGill University. She's currently tracking about 150 projects backed by governments or private donations, and not one has reached its target. A common wish among technology gurus, these new cities allow for testing sites for autonomous vehicles and robot-assisted living. Just last year, Toyota announced its plans to create a 2,000-person city. 
At the base of Mount Fuji for this type of community, of course, there's always New Harmony, Indiana, a thrice-failed utopian society, and Ebenezer, Howard's Garden City, sparking garden cities across the globe, never quite adding up to Howard's original plan. Capitalism has been an incredible economic model, but there are significant flaws especially around income and wealth inequality. Lohr said many of these flaws are a result of the land ownership model that America was built on, there's a finite amount of land and that land was claimed generations ago. Communities were created, tax dollars were used to invest in the land and therefore the land increased in value over time with landowners not having to produce anything or take any risk. Land could essentially go from a barren piece of desert to a modern day city worth billions or even trillions. So what if that land had been owned by a community endowment? There is plenty of lands left. What if we had a clean slate to demonstrate this new model? Once I thought through the equitism model, I realized there was an opportunity to build a new city from scratch to demonstrate how that model could work. He also wants to make Teloza the most sustainable city in the world. From equitism, my focus turned to make Teloza the most sustainable city in the world, he added. From global warming to water and energy, how can we do better for future generations? And what technology and other innovations in policy and design can we embed in the city that is only possible because of the fact that we're building it from scratch? Just imagine what's possible with sustainable building materials, autonomous vehicles, electric aircraft and underground movement of materials. Some commenters on the website of Architecture and Design magazine Design dubbed the city a vanity project and a like a greenwashed Vegas, while others dismissed it as the plaything of another egotistical billionaire. Ebenezer Howard's garden cities in the UK have formed much of the basis for Teloza. The city aims to have a density of 33 people per acre or 4,046 square meters, which is a similar density level to San Francisco taking its name from the ancient Greek word telos, a term used by the philosopher Aristotle to describe an inherent or higher purpose, the city would allow residents to participate in the decision-making and budgeting process. Commenting on the Teloza announcement, Grant Sams, a research analyst specializing in smart cities at Guidehouse Insights, told cities, Today, projects like this can spur the public's imagination about how a city any city can be molded and remolded to better serve its residents. While big dreams are certainly notable and intriguing, the track record of these types of proposed developments to achieve their vision is unfortunately poor. Let us know your opinion in the comment section down below. That was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video just for you guys. Until then, Take care, stay safe, and be happy, guys.